Well, not as funny as Jason, but I do think I'm much better looking. So that's possible. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about how to expedite our care, and thank you for the introduction. I want to take you to tonight, the first day of the conference is over, you're sitting at a restaurant or at the banquet, is your meal perfect, your steak medium rare, or is there a problem? If there is, who fixes it? Who stops it from happening to another table? That person is the expediter. His job is to make sure that your meal is perfectly made, comes out on time with all the other meals at your table. And if there is a problem, he's the first one informed. That way, he can fix it before it happens to anyone else. I know this because I used to be an expediter for the Cake Steakhouse. I was also a chef, a waitress, and a dishwasher. I've been all the roles. And I'm a nurse in Saskatoon, as you mentioned and I'm a first-year medical student. So I'm talking about expediting care because I am passionate about our public health care system. I am passionate about sustaining this system, and this means having sustainable resources. So I'm going to present two real-life scenarios as to why this is important. First is baby Rory. He is healthy except for a metabolic condition that he has and requires a special formula for this. It costs $150 a day. His parents cannot afford this and it's not provincially covered. So he must stay in hospital at the cost of $900 a day until he gets that coverage. Next, we have an infant requiring a lung scope. In Saskatoon, we have qualified staff, but no infant bronchoscope or the extra $5,000 in the surgical budget for one. So, for $20,000, we send the child to Edmonton for the procedure. But they're two different budgets, so really it's not a problem. So how can we change? From the past two scenarios, the obvious answer is, we'll pay for the formula by scope. But how do we make lasting change at a systems level, across the province and across the country? Currently, this is how we deal with change. It's not quite a cat, but similar. We get really frustrated. We talk to our colleagues, and we hope that social work can create another miracle. <laughs> we don't have anyone to talk to at direct policy level. We have a disconnect between administration, frontline staff, and patients themselves. So for help, we can look to other models of success. I look to business, especially the service industry. They share common goals of efficiency, sustainability, as well as providing excellent customer, or rather patient care, and excellent products. So what is it that businesses have that we don't? When you look at a successful business, you see that they have a direct line of communication of all problems and ideas between all levels of staff. There's also a better understanding of everyone's roles. In healthcare, we need someone who is available to physicians, nurses, and all staff, and has an understanding of their jobs. They must have the ability and authority to expedite decisions made with the healthcare team and to provide quality, sustainable care. This person is the expediter. The expediter facilitates change through communication. Their goal is to increase profits by making immediate changes to a process. Any acute problems go directly to them, as they know all areas of service. So we'll see those two scenarios again, but this time with an expediter. With Rory, the expediter would authorize payment by the Peds Ward for the formula for one month, or until special coverage was obtained, and then send Rory home. Even if the province was unwilling to, re to reimburse the ward, the ward would still save $750 a day. In the bronchoscope scenario, the problem is that we view budgets as separate entities and not as pooled resources. The explainer would have a global view of the budget and see ways to pool resources to provide better care and more affordably. In this case, they would authorize and inform the PICU that they are buying the scope for surgery. 
Even with this surgical equipment, it still saves the PICU $15,000. Staff may argue they need to try the scope first, but try one, throw it out. We still save money. <laughs> the expert rule can be modified for healthcare. They need to spend half their time on the front lines. That way, they're available to personnel to come to them with their ideas and concerns. Their training must involve shadowing to understand everyone's roles, as well as working with patients to understand how their decisions really do affect those patients. The expander needs access to the budget, both at local and systems level at large, with the authority to make changes. They also need access to quality care and improvement research to assist in disseminating the vast array of ideas, and to make sure our decisions are research-based. The expander would help, not, would help to fix the system. We cannot just apply another band-aid. We must also put money back into the system. That way resources are there for the patients who really need them most. We need the expander to make our system sustainable. They would do this by working with healthcare teams to expedite decisions. This would allow resources to go further and provide the quality care that we all seek to provide. So tonight, when you are at dinner, think about an expediter. Think about what you could do in your area and what it could do for you to expedite our care. Thank you.